The trim tool normally lets us get rid of parts of a shape, and there are a couple different settings and interesting features. Let's go through the fill hole setting first. For example, if I have fill holes turned off and I trim it, you can see that it gets rid of this. If I turn on fill holes after trimming it, it fills in the hole and maintains a closed shape. Now what do each of these settings do? Let's start by turning off screen space boolean. If this happens, when we trim on the sides, it still trims normally, but if we trim in the center, you'll notice that it doesn't always trim a hole. Instead, it just sort of retopologizes the part that I trimmed, adding vertices along the edge where I trimmed. But if I turn up the detail, you can see a lot more vertices are added, and also the edge is defined by where I drew the trim line with the lasso tool. So I think this has some potential to be used as a retopology tool because you can control where the vertices are added. Okay, let's turn off screen space boolean and play with the other settings. So as we know, detail affects how many vertices are added. More detail, more vertices. Hole smoothing affects how the edges of the holes are smooth. So this one, you can see the edges are slightly beveled, whereas with the hole smoothing turned off, it's much sharper. And if we turn on both hole smoothing and detail, the amount of smoothing and beveling is a little bit smaller because vertices are closer together. What about threshold epsilon? So let's repeat the four holes above, but with threshold epsilon turned up. To be honest, I don't see much of a difference, but I think it's supposed to change the algorithm and the way the hole is filled. So if you have a glitch in the hole filling, adjusting the threshold epsilon might help. 